After you stop recording, you're prompted with a preview of what was captured. The preview window allows you to see what you recorded before you actually save it. Click this button near the bottom to see the entire recording at once, and again to view it at its full resolution. Don't be alarmed if video quality is reduced when viewing at shrink to fit. Your recording will be saved at the high quality you see when viewed at 100% scale. After previewing, and if everything looks good, click the Save and Edit button. This is where project management tips become important. First, I tend to create a new folder for each new video project I'm working on. This allows me to save all of my media in one place to help stay organized. For example, I'll choose a location on my computer where I want to save this recording file. Some place where I know it will stay and I won't need to move the files later. I'll create a new folder and call it Calculator for this new project I'm beginning. I'll save all of my source files, like images, audio, and any other video files that I plan to use for this project into this folder before importing them into Camtasia Studio. Following this procedure each time ensures that everything is nicely organized for each of my Camtasia projects. The final step is to give the recording a name and click Save. Your Camtasia recording, also called a Camrec file, is saved and then opened within Camtasia Studio. Notice the recording is added to the clip bin and loaded on the timeline, ready for editing. The first time any media is added to the timeline for a new project, you'll be prompted with this Editing Dimensions window. Check out the next video in this series to learn about what editing dimensions to select, as well as how to save your Camtasia project file. For feedback about this tutorial, please follow this link.